come, 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 come on! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, this video is sponsored by this gorilla. Thank you, Mr. Gorilla, for sponsoring my video. That's all right, George. Thank you. We'll see you again another time. Okay. Today, I'm talking about my life as a courgette. No, not my life as a courgette. The movie My Life as a Courgette. On se lève. On se lave, Monsieur Là, Paul, euh, il nous raconte l'histoire des hommes qui étaient là avant nous. Now, I was dubious about this film because I've gone to see lots of animated films as of late that I thought this should be good and then I was disappointed. Um, but I was excited, it was interesting, it had good reviews, um, it disappeared from mainstream cinema very, very quickly, which I took as probably a good sign because when people don't go to see something, normally means it's quite good. And, uh, and not always actually, the, um, the Book of Henry springs to mind, that disappeared from cinemas with good reason. But anyway, my life as a courgette is, I'm so glad to say, such a good little movie. It's, it's a really beautiful little film, it's a simple film, it feels effortless, it's not effortless, there's no way that it could possibly be effortless because for one thing it's animated, but one thing that's so good about it is the characters. They're just so lovable, so likeable, it's these little kids at an orphanage and you get to know each and every one of them in their own simple unique way and it's amazing how you can get a movie like Pirates of the Caribbean 5 that's this enormous spectacle and you don't really care about the characters and you don't really know them on anything other than a very very superficial level and the movie costs enough money to potentially save a small country and then you get this this little animated film where the characters are not even human and yet they are so much more human than characters are in your average Hollywood blockbuster. These characters are warm, they are uh, very very real in a, in a childlike honest way and one thing that's really good about it is even though uh, it's animated and children would definitely like it, some kids would love it, but it is not a children's film. Uh, even the children talk about, you know, they ask questions about like sex and things and it's very very funny. Uh, the audience laughed a, a lot watching this film um, but obviously you're not going to get an animated Disney film where the children characters are asking relatively explicit questions about sex even though children do ask relatively explicit questions about sex. This is often a big issue in the film industry actually. Some years ago I made a short animated film. I, I wrote a script that won funding from Film London and uh, the film was an animated film and before it got finished the the studio, the producers, said to me um, can you take out the violence? Can you make it more for kids? Can you make it more for little kids? Over and over and over again, <clears throat> they kept on changing my script and taking out anything that was adult. And I kept saying, it's an animated film. It's not a cartoon. It's not a kid's film. It's just a film that's animated. And it's been written actually for adults, not for kids. They couldn't understand this. So they constantly were trying to kind of just pilfer away at the script and make it as child friendly as possible. And if this is happening on a small scale with short films in, in little festivals, then you could be damn sure that it's happening on a big scale in Hollywood and beyond. So it's really nice to see a movie like My Life as a Courgette, which is animated and is not strictly for children. Elle était gentille avec toi, ta maman. Elle buvait beaucoup de bière, puis des fois elle rigolait. Écoute, je vais t'emmener dans un endroit avec d'autres enfants comme toi. That being said, children will like it. Uh, if I was a parent, I would definitely let my kids watch this film. It's it's just a great little movie. I don't want to give anything away about it. It's very short. It's very lovable. Uh, I would happily watch this movie more than once. It feels like it gets humanity right in a very palpable way, like you could reach out and touch that world and, and know these people. It feels like the filmmakers just understood people at, at a core level in a way that the more shiny Hollywood films often kind of gloss over, like we don't want to explore the humanity, we'll just, we'll just cover it up 
with with special effects like covering a shitty gift in really nice wrapping paper is what you is what you get in so many big uh, American blockbuster films which have been coming out this summer this movie is the complete opposite it's like uh, yes it's a beautiful looking film but but that doesn't mean that they can't do lots of scenes which are just kids talking just sitting in a room talking or being in a, a bedroom a dorm at night talking it, it's it's so good I don't want to say any more about it check it out my life is a courgette it deserves the positivity and the acclaim it gets didn't deserve to be taken out of cinemas quickly I don't know why it got taken out. Everybody who saw it loved it. My life is a courgette. Check it out. Je vous présente votre nouveau camarade, Icar. Mon nom c'est Courgette. Moi je vais plutôt patate ou satan. <rire> oh, trop balèze, Courgette. <rire> <rire>